previously. I'm gonna add Battery Man Microcell to my hand. What the fuck did no I miss way. last time? On progression Series Season 2. Was good enough last time? I'm hoping it'll be good enough this time. The Happy solemnist price to pay? of judgment. Drained? He's out here draining? Gores has changed the entire landscape. Oh, so, okay, so Gage just won with a fucking sick Sam list. Of progression series. Now that you and I both have one, this card's scary. I'm willing to bet my entire paycheck that that is a micro -sound. In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu Gi Oh booster set. We will build a deck and play a best Mr. Banger. One. In this card's scary. I'm willing to bet my entire paycheck that that is a micro -sound. In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu Gi Oh booster set. We will build a this deck honestly may be one of my of least three, favorite and the episodes. Will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. I better see him in chat. Don't tell me you forgot how to do it. However, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. But, but this time, time around, we'll be we'll introducing be side sets, we'll a new banning system, and plenty of other fun surprises that you'll just have to watch to find out. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series Season 2. Fuck. How do I? Bro, what do you think the Amazonist call sounds? Like? Shit. Probably something. I like... need a way to get five ah! percent off any singles or sealed product. Oh, and Wartech says, if you want five percent off any singles or sealed product, you know what? Fuck that. From today on, I declare the Frog Ration series, where we know. debate about the fat frog. Here's the spinning fat frog. You know, he raises some good points. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. When can I expect my Frogborn hoodie to come in? Fuck if I know. No, um... <clears throat> I think this wasn't effectively communicated about the Pyramid merch, uh, but they were pre-orders. Um, they're in production now, and I think it will probably be like a, like a week from today until it ships. Sorry. Unless you were the person that won the giveaway, in which case, winner, my bad. Alex, the gap gets closer and closer every episode. I'm really excited to have this wheel in Is front of Is it still for today. sale? Again, endless no. possibilities, especially when we get into the better slivers of the wheel. Starlight feels like it could be literally anything in the game, and it could be absolutely game-changing. I'm not going to waste too much time jibber-jabbering about how we whooped Alex's bum last week. Let's just spin the wheel. Let's see what we get. I'm really, really looking for a starlight, as per always, but I will actually end up taking Snatch to you. What is he wearing? Like. I think there could be a lot of fun things capable of that. <laughs> Oh. That's what I see when I look at dick. I make that noise. I go. <laughs> oh, actually, wait. That, that's great. <laughs> I'm so happy. I was actually. Man, I really wanted something good today. I'm so glad I got something good. Been a All right, snatch the fucking beret. Let's play Karakuri. Since we've actually gotten the snatch deal, I can't wait to redeem this next week. I think I've already got an idea of what I want to grab. Dog town. Alex ended up getting really, not really lucky. He ended up getting more cards than I did for a strategy I really wanted to play. He's gonna do it. Wait, he's gonna do it. Guess what that is. But if you can't, you'll find out. Oh, next, next week. week is gonna this be week, crazy. Though, big set. It is return of the duelist. A green set. The green sets always seem to be the one that matters, right? I'm gonna let Alex tell you all about that. Queen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're back in the loser circle. I this guy fucking sucks. Are, are we below gauge yet? What's the what's the rating? Yo, I can't wait to fund more episodes of Sealed Showdown. Amazing content. The gap gets. Ooh. <laughs> Emphatic win over Alex. The gap gets closer and closer every episode. I'm
Ooh, I'm looking to get Gage's gap closer and closer. Maybe I'll plug it up. I played a fun deck last episode, so I don't want to hear Me it. Me when that I played Battery Man, it's I a fun deck. completely just cheated and shouldn't have won anyway. But in any case, it was fun nonetheless. And is a little bit of a taste of what's to come later once we get some other cards. Speaking of other cards, though, we are moving on to Return of the Duelist, released on August 24th, 2012. A lot of neat cards in this set, that's for sure. You can already see right here that the introduction <laughs> of Prophecy, There's a lot of neat Dolce, cards in and that set. Gyrgya in this That's set, sure. I believe. Gyrgya would be a really nice archetype to play, but armor is a super, so we'd have to get extremely lucky if we want to be able to play that. But even some generic stuff like Void Trap Hole, uh, Soul of Silver Mountain, like these cards are pretty decent as well. Moving on down to the rares, we have a bunch of Chronomaly stuff, which I don't think gets better until a little bit later on, unless you're playing History of Jank, that is. Some more Gear Gear stuff and Gear Giano cards as well. Then just some additions to, like, the other archetypes that were aforementioned. I guess the Hunter stuff is also kind of new. That would be okay, nice. Uh, we do have the Battery Man stuff, and there is sort of synergy there because they are Thunders, but this is more <clears> Rank 4 spam than anything. This would be fun to play, though. Moving on down to the Ultras. There's some decent ones here. Excalibur does... Machu Mech. Is Bish Balkan out yet? Require Warriors, but if you are playing a Warrior-based deck, that's one of the best Rank 4s you could be playing. But aside from that, though, everything else is like two archetype specific i feel because like secrets and magician you know pudding says yeah, it's not too great in this slot and then going down to the secrets it's more of the same like gigan's pretty generic again but if you're only in like the machine category i'd like to get this and gear sort of needs this as well although probably in prog we could get away with not playing with it because we are a little I've bit i've never seen spirit to, like, converter we'll at the time and then we got some short prints the ghost rare the commons i don't think there's anything like, too crazy in here just more support for all the archetypes we've already seen some like okay stuff that's it for return of the duelist though there's some neat stuff but again it just kind of depends if it all comes together uh, we got open turbo pack a i think we're close to astro pack which is pretty nice because the turbo packs are definitely uh, showing their age a bit here and we can see from flipping this first pack uh yeah you know fire dog would be nice if gauge didn't ban it so that's gauge appreciate it second pack gemini imps is like okay everything else in there isn't too great and our last pack uh i don't think we're playing any of these cards these are all three of these cards were released in like 2004 why are they in a turbo pack in any case we got 24 packs of return of the duelist to open let's get cracking all right return of the duelist i'm looking for a few really whoa great cards we got to get one of these shirts here i remember opening this thing as a kid debut of madolce one of my favorite archetypes of all time we're gonna be opening 24 packs of these and i do remember what the draft button is now down here let's see if we get any bangers from our 24 packs of return of the duelist okay pack number one we're seeing chateau and stuff like i said i do like the madolce's big fan eco is like an anti kind of burn strategy if alex ever wants to kill yeah, like I guess now we have oh oh crystal chronot is actually a fantastic card to be able to pull in super rare it's actually so crystal chronot far between getting any generic ones is a blessing two level threes when it's targeted for an attack detach material from this card this card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects also your opponent takes any battle damage you would have taken involving this card Nice that it's a little bit of a body that you can protect. That's actually pretty sick. Makes our tour guides that much better. Soul Drain's actually a fantastic, also, uh, continuous trap card that we want to pick up a few of these. We got a paw hunter here. This is the first look at the, uh, the hunter archetype as well. We got to get Gage like an ad block, right? Down. It's just like a, a rank four turbo kind of deck, but it's cool nonetheless. Really cool nonetheless. All ties <laughs> together with a card that's not even out. He's like personally uh, funding the YGO Pro, Pro deck servers. I'm not going to give too much away, but I am looking for a few copies of this Uniflora Mythical Beast Ooh. of the Forest. You've never seen this card in competitive play. I can almost guarantee it, but you might see oh, it today. Oh, I'm familiar with it. It's a really, really sick deck back in the day. Also, one of my favorites from this time. Uh, unfortunately, everything is literally slotted into the highest rarity of the set. Cards like High Priestess is a secret rare. Cards like Spellbook of Secrets and Ultra Rare. It's almost near unobtainable for us in the progression series. Would've been cool, but we have another archetype like Gear Gear Accelerator. Uh, Gear Gears in general are really sick. I need to pick up like a Gear Gear armor in the set if I want it to be anything good at all though. All right, 24 packs of Return of the Duelist. I'd love to play Gear Gear, but again, we're going to need an exceptionally good opening if we want to. Starting off with and Pudding Cess though for Medulce an Ultra Rare. Medulce would be good too, but again, I think that's probably that's harder to play one. than Gear Gear. There's Gear Gear Accelerator. That is a common, so that shouldn't be too hard to pull. The Arsenals are rares and the Armors are supers. Uh, Soul Drain's pretty neat though. Soul Drain's mm, nice because uh, this actually has a lot of relevant like, side deck applications. Who so remembers Catapult Zone? Um, also, escape device isn't too bad either. Like, you need to play this in a very specific deck, but it's like a nice card. Oh, and there is a good hit. Heroic Ooh, Champion Excalibur, the Ghost nice Rare, one. as a matter of fact. Uh, one problem with this is that the best warrior deck we were able to play, Gage actually just hit a couple episodes ago because he decided to ban Neos Alias. Not that you're, like, really summoning this in that deck, but, like, out of all the best warrior decks we could be playing, unfortunately, that is probably one of them. But if we could find a way to take advantage of this, that'd be sick. Nothing too special in these last few packs I've opened up here. I'm not even looking at like the low rarity stuff because low rarity stuff's not that bad. But I'm just, I don't think I'm getting lucky. I don't think I'm getting anything too good. I did get my three <clears> to the floor. That's a big reroll. Dusk Knight. I'm pretty sure this is the first time in a long time that we had gotten like an Armageddon Knight esque card, and it was like a big deal at the time. Dusk Knight was not that great. Flip side and Earth from the deck of the graveyard. Flip. You can put anything on a flip monster. Being really good. Wow, talk about the back to backs. We get the Ghost Rare and then an Ultimate Rare Prophecy Destroyer. Not that we're like playing this or anything, but God, I've always loved the artwork of this card. It's so sick. Damn, there's I hate another the Ultimate Rare, the Chronomaly Machu Mech. I don't think we're doing any uh, crazy OTKs with this card. I don't think we even have the ability to do that, but it's a neat one nonetheless. I wow, Compulse like, Escape is really Ma old. Hunter, I didn't realize. No Ma Hunter yet, so the, the likelihood of us playing this deck is going quickly down the tubes. Oh, shit, there's a Gear Gear Armor. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, okay. All right. So that's we could not play too great, it. But I mean, this is like one of the cornerstone pieces of being able to play Gear Gear. Yeah, we could we'll play it. We got what? Seven packs left? Eh, maybe there's a chance. Ooh, Sis Hunter. Okay, we got like a pretty good Hunter package so far. Sis! Three Ma Hunter, we got a Paw
some really dumb like OTKs or FTKs paired with this card. That's why like demands Fish a pretty Falcon. high price point. Doesn't have a reprint either, funny enough. But for us, it's another generic five among Andreas and Kyrus. Hey, more than welcome. Detach one XYZ material from this card, target face a monster opponent controls, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the difference between its OG and current attack, and it gains back to the damage inflicted. Yeah, so you can probably see some of the dumb FTKs die with this card. Just make a, a, an opponent do like as large as possible, and then Maku Mech just 8,000 deal to them GG, right? That's pretty cool for us, though. So, um, I'm not mad about that. It's a great pickup. Another Maw Hunter, man. I didn't need another Maw Hunter, but I'll take it. Whatever. Man, another Library of the Crescent. Study up. All right, come on, last few packs here. Anything big? Wow, higher. <laughs> and a third Library of the Crescent. All right, and then sure. uh, Halfway's not going to be playable, I can promise. Weird. Okay, we got another Maku Mech and another Wow, we are really right, sitting on these chronomalies, huh? Really, really happy to pick up. The Maku Mech, I don't even know what to say about that. Another Paw Hunter. Wow, that's a really, we had a really good pull this time around here. Actually, broken up pretty well here. Let's get a little gander. We got two Paw, three Maw, wow. one Sis. Dog. Two Soul Drake, One two Sis. Three. There's one Sis on this show? I like this. This was really good. Add it to the collection. Don't even got to think twice. Wow, right? the think pack opener looks play. a lot better. You guys are going to like it. Let's go check it out. Well, only a few packs left to open. It sucks. We, we pulled armor, but I haven't pulled a single arsenal. I think we've gotten a few of the uh, Gear Giano MK2, I think it is. We've gotten a couple of them, but we've gotten like multiple copies of other rares like Revival Golem and stuff that if that were arsenal, might have been able to play some Gear Gear, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to lean that way. We have a few packs left though, so maybe there is still some hope. I mean, there's an arsenal, but there's I think we're a little bit too late on that, if I'm going to be honest. Last pack, let's see what we get. It's Crescent. Yeah, I think we pulled like three Crescent and like three of a bunch of other rares, but we're going to keep. I mean, we pulled Excalibur, which honestly probably has the most yeah. power than anything else. Even I, if we respin, I like, want to make fun of him about respinning, but, could, but I don't think we re roll an Excalibur. And, uh, let's get to building. Let me tell you, chat. We are, um, we are back on combo cat. Okay, um, this one is this one's interesting. Uh, so if Uniflora is actually really important for this one. I wish I was dead. Has been absolutely cooking some fierce lists in the last few weeks. This, the boy. One in particular caught my eye, and with the release of Uniflora, Mythical Beast of the Forest, and Return of the Duelist, I couldn't say no. This list looks way too spicy. We're so the concept is Uniflora can get back cat. Saying hello to our feline friend, Rescue Cat, yet again. We're going to be making some absolutely ridiculous combos while this card is still unerratted. It doesn't get errated until the release of Duelist Saga. We're still a bit away from that, so we still get to feel the power of Rescue Cat in its truest form. And the last time we visited Rescue Cat, we were trying some XYZ plays with Wind Up Dog. Tell you what, we're going back to those again. We're playing Wind yep. Up Dog and the X-Saber Air Bell to make some big yep. synchros, you know, bump this up. Dog is so good with this card. I can't believe that, like, historically... No one ever expected... Was was Cat... Cat was banned during this period? This is just a deck that could not have ever existed. Ugh. Five, make it eight. Or we can just make two fives and make Andreas or a new Chronomaly mech. That I didn't have space for him. I'm not gonna lie. This is the deck they were building on Modcast? Oh, shit. It's Subathon. All fine and dandy, right? We got the Nat Beast turn one plays as well with the sequel. But now we have one of the most integral combo pieces to this deck that actually takes this thing to a whole nother level. Uniflora is insane. This card has never seen play with Rescue Cat in this era because I don't think Rescue Cat was legal. It is That's a very true. glass cannon deck. I've also been told it's a glass cannon deck. Uh, like, I have to see this Rescue Cat to be able to make some of these insane plays or get a uh, like, one turn setup to somehow stick on the board and flow into a monster in the next one. But if I'm able to see just Rescue Cat and it goes off unimpeded, you will see some fireworks. Uniflora reads if they're all monsters in your graveyard are beast type, you can tribute this card, special summon one beast monster from your hand or graveyard except Uniflora. It cannot attack this turn. It is not going to matter. Let me tell you what we're going to do. We're going to Rescue Cat, we're going to Rescue Cat into Uniflora, and we're going to Rescue Cat into Uniflora. And then we are going to Uniflora, bring back the Rescue Cat, and we're going to do it again. We're going to Rescue Cat to bring out our non tuners or our tuners, and then we're going to Uniflora again, loop it up to two to three times in a turn. That's going to end us in some of the most insane boards you'll ever see in Prague. I'm talking beast barky on type boards, maybe with the Stardust Dragon chilling in the back too. Like actual just unbeatable stuff. Good okay, I've tried to turn on Vod. Let me know if it types. works. There's a few that aren't, but hopefully I don't have to see them. They're going to be just the cards that are going to increase our consistency. I don't want Summoner Monk to hit the graveyard early. I obviously don't want to be dropping Gores and filling up the graveyard before I see combo. Cards like Sangin and Witcher are able to get me to rescue cap, but they can also impede the full combo if I use them. And of course, Thunder King is one of the better stun cards. It's going to be the one that's going to like hopefully you know balance us out until we can get to our rescue cap if we don't see it. But if all things go according to plan, you know, maybe we float a rat into the rescue cat. People are so mad over this deck. Why? This deck is sick as fuck. Full loaded, just beast in the graveyard. This I deck is beast. so cool. I don't know what to tell you. Like, this is just a deck that never existed in paper. It's not trying to adapt a bad constructed deck. It's its own thing that never existed and never could and makes use of a synergy that could only exist in Prague. Mode, and it's getting absolutely ugly. I'm really glad. People are more upset I don't build my decks anymore. Uh, cry about it. I gotta grab the snatch deal for this episode because it gives me a plan for next week. But this week, this list looks looked way too juicy to not try. And I wish I was dead as cooked up always, always throughout the entire season two, some of the best lists we've seen. I'm hoping to summon Rescue Cat and really show Alex what he's up against this week. Let's see what he's taking. Let's see if it even competes. So for those of you who don't know, last week was the North American World Championship Qualifier or Nats for North America. And I was there competing in the large Edison tournament. I think it ended up being over 300 players or close to 300 because it initially capped at 256 and then a bunch of people didn't show up and they let a bunch of other people sign up. And it was All right, I have some of the most the fun I've playing Yu-Gi-Oh! in quite some time. It actually reminded me a lot of Prague just because we've been in that area of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! for so long lately that I just wanted to not let that time end. So we're going to be playing, I wouldn't call it an Edison deck. Oh God, I just looked at the fucking screen. Oh, come
didn't we Hall of Fame this? Deck, of course, but I mean, obviously, you can play Frog Monarch in that format. And uh, surprisingly, Frog Monarch in September 2012, uh, around this time, I should say, was also still a deck that some people were playing. Yeah, sure, there's like a lot of other decks you could be playing, but we can't play those in Prague. And honestly, I think this is one of the best decks that we can play given our card pool. So I figure let's go ahead and run it back one more time. We haven't played it since we had access to some new cards. So let's do the card by card. Uh, we got two Battle Thunder, I think. PS1 Ronin Tone, the Sangana Substitute, because this is still legal. <laughs> but if you close your eyes. Triple Swap, Triple Thessalos, Double Tree Ball, Triple Zaborg rounds out our monsters. Then the spells we have Brain Pond, Dark Hole, Triple Enemy Controller, Triple MSC, the one for one, Double Duality. We don't really special a ton in this deck, but this does allow us to, if we get into a situation where we're lacking resources, we can actually use this to filter for something that we need. Let's say, like, we don't have Treeborn Frog access yet. We can use Duality to find, like, a Swap Frog or something to help get us there. Then we have Pot of Greed and Triple Soul Exchange. It's Monarch. There's really not much else to talk about. The extra is actually kind of interesting. We have just some basic synchros like Catastro, Armory Arm, Black Rose, Green Act, Dark End, Formula, Mistworm, Double Stardust, and Urbellum. We're playing stuff like Brain Pond and Econ, so this could come up with, like, our Veiler Tuner or just anything like that. Or if we still want to gauge as soon as we have a ton of monsters to sync off with. But uh, the extra deck in terms of the Xyz monsters is more interesting because this time around we've got Gusto Phoenix and Gachi Gachi to pair with our frogs, and we didn't have these in Frog Season 1. So these are actually like decent cards. Phoenix can get a lot of burst damage out of nowhere, and Gachi Gachi can buff our guys. Yeah, we don't have like, we're not fully Me, like, on the frogs, trying to but get they're people just nice excited about the rank. We have a lot of lights and darks we can side into, like Sidra, Didi Crow, Valor, Jinzo, just in case. I don't want to card use my tree. And that gives us mate to the table today. Well, Gage, we're now back from the uh, NAWCQ, although we weren't playing in the main event, we were playing in the Edison event. And I gotta say, it felt a lot like sitting down and playing Prague with you every week, buddy. It was a grand old time. Oh, yeah, man. It reminds me of winning. Let me say I'm a little bit more scuffed up to the format there. I felt pretty good. <laughs> but it's <clears> fun <throat> uh, getting to experience all those old cards again, especially in like an officially sanctioned tournament. Yeah. It wouldn't sick. trade it, man. It was awesome. It was a great time. Great time. Uh, cards you wouldn't see in that format are cards from Return of the Duelist, as a matter of fact. How are you feeling about your pulls? Um, they're all right. It's a green set. Let me tell you, there's a lot that could happen in those yeah, sets. But uh, I, agree. I feel all right. I don't want to expose too much, though. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, let's just get into it then, see what you're cooking up over there. That has me a little bit worried because there's some crazy stuff in this set. Shout out the patron, Samantha Cochran. Thank you for the support. Oh, thank I you, just, Samantha. Oh my damn. goodness. That, that was my experience at the end <laughs> I think I only won one die roll in my entire uh, run, but that's Me okay. too. And it matters too, because you get to draw the free card. It really yeah. does matter. Unlike in our format, I, I remember the, the only die roll I won was the first game, and I said, I can't wait to do this. I run my hands together, draw phase, and I drew a card, and it felt fantastic. I lost my first coin, my, my first die roll, and I had to remind the guy to draw to six, bro. You know what? I, I couldn't do, I didn't even have to tell him. He could have played with five the whole time. <laughs> but I, I was nice, nice opponent. But you know what? One extra card is really good in Edison format, but maybe it just not, might not be good enough here. Because I want to go first with my deck that I'm setting up. Interesting. All right, okay. what are we working on? Right. Let's see what you're cooking on? up over here, buddy. Best of luck. I've got some moves. Let's see if it works out. All right, I'm, I'm a bit go... scared that you're going first. Stand by me. I'm going to set one, Gino. two. I'm going to throw down a third. And I'm just going to normal summon Thunder King Ryo Pass. Okay. Seems like a good turn Woo. one to me, right? Doesn't All right, well, unfortunately, we do have the out. Draw stand by oh. me. Don't have to worry about dust shoot. Thank God. We actually, uh, um, we actually don't have the out here. We got a Guido. A Guido. Although, I guess, okay, I'm going to say a line. You all tell me if I can do this. One for one, summon Substitute, Soul Exchange, tribute my opponent's monster. Is that legal? Can I do that? Fun card to deal with all weekend. Main yeah, one. Right. <laughs> yes. Thunder King Woo. action, huh? You know what? I mean, I ain't never Go gonna ahead. do that. You're not killing me. <laughs> Yeah, all right, I'll take a card. Stand by me. Um, all right, well, the Emissary of Darkness is imminent. What's the send for one for one? Zabor. <laughs> you don't have to But well, we're just never buddy. summoning I'm not going to. Like we're just going to make some rank twos. I'd rather not get Smokatron by uh, Gores. Um, Does that bring you back some flashbacks in <laughs> the weekend? <laughs> yeah, right. What are you up to? Um, <laughs> I'm just going to pass. Go ahead. Okay. Attack! Oh, oh I see. Uh, stand by me, I think. Yeah, this is probably a good time as any to do this. Uh, I'm going to try to take your Thunder King. Yeah, you can have it. That's fine. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you. Normal substitute. Um... <laughs> Does he not get it? I'm going to, uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, what the hell? Just like frogs? Um, I, I'm going to solemn this. Wow. That's a 4K great song. on the substitute. It's a great song. I think, okay. it's I think it's worth it. Okay. okay. You could deal a nice 19 with the T-King. I'll take him back, though. Gotta be honest. We're, we're going we're gonna to give you back the guy. Okay. Uh, I'm going to think no. I'll try for the 19. I'll take it. Okay. Second main. Looks like I got way more value out of that than I was expecting. Uh, I'm just going to pass. Way more yeah. value out of <laughs> well, that than I was thank expecting. You. I'll draw for turn. Stand by main. <clears throat> I am going to... Normal summon, yeah, I, man, I don't want to get gores. I really don't want to get gores. <laughs> I, I, I really do not want to get gores, bro, because I lose the game. On You're not gonna get I'm just going to set a card, and I'm going to set All another right. one, and I'm going to pass. Go ahead. Sure. Uh, I'm draw. playing like a bitch. Stand by into the main. Okay, Let's there we go. go. Well, your judgment's gone. Happy to see that. Uh, soul exchange. Target the set. I have no response. Okay, uh, sack it off. Uh, whoa, yeah, whoa, 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 new card there. I don't know. What the hell are you up to? Oh my god. Okay, I'll have to figure that out later. Yeah, let me see the That's tribute. fine. I got the better Thunder oh, card here. It's the board. board. Yeah, that'll pop Take up. Take out the TK. That's fine. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, uh, Soul Exchange is not brain control, and I'm not allowed to attack you here, so I don't know why I'm attempting to go to battle phase. Yeah, I'm chilling. Good. I'll draw. Stand my main. I will normal summon Thunder King Ryo. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh man,
I haven't attacked you, except with your own T-King. So, I mean, prison's still online. I feel like if you had bottomless, you would have smacked that thing down immediately. What else you got back there? You could just have, like, something awkward, like, compulse. There's, like, a bunch of things you could have. You could just be trying to save Torrential for bigger push, potentially. All right, I'm a gambling man. I'm a gambling man. What you hitting? Let's see what we're going to hit. Let's go after this one. That one? It's unfortunately going to be okay. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Not great, but it's okay. Let's go one for one. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Yep. We're going to get the boy. Get, uh, tree yep, born. okay, good search. Uh, sack it for Thestalos. Try to go after your hand. That's the last card in my hand. Yes, line up dog. Wind up dog. <laughs> I'm just starting to see uh, some uh, some similarities, some old lists here. I'm going to take three. That I am. That do I we am. have? Uh, let's just go to battle. Do we Damage have? Step, I'll lance your Thestalos. Going to lance me down to 16 mm -hmm. hundo. Huh? Sure. So I will take three. My Thestalos is down. We just went uh, here. We'll try it with the board. Unfortunately, that one's going to be okay. I'll take five. Whoa. Seven. Okay. okay. Uh, second main. Oh, I mean, one card. That's, that's over. <laughs> that sounds good to me. There's I guess I'll, can do. I guess I'll just set it past. Don't me. set a card. You have Treeborn. Go. <laughs> Your turn. Okay. I'll draw. Uh, let's hit. Giant rat. Uh oh. That's, that's disastrous. Okay. Wait. That's we might yeah, still have it. Out. This card's pretty good. I'm Wait. We might have it. That's pretty good. That's pretty good indeed. We have to. Right. We have to like econ take tribute for Thestalos. Uh, I'm gonna go second main. I do have to do something about this. I'm yeah, you econ, do. Yeah. Your cat. Sure. Uh, sack for Thestalos for no effect. Okay. Uh, I will draw. Stand by me. It's yep. it's I called by. Me. It's called by. We win. We'll call the haunted. I'm going to reborn. Yes. Sure. All right, we're playing the game. Let's go, baby. I am we going are. to rescue Cat. No Gores is in sight anymore. Thank God. Unfortunately, my Uniflora tech didn't quite come through. <laughs> if I just <laughs> opened rescue Cat and nothing else, Alex, you would be dead right now. You would be super dead. Probably. Um, I think the absolute best choice. Let me just double check. I think it's really a non-option. That's the problem. Like you just Kaya some. It's not like I have a lot of them. You know, it's only. <laughs> well, the I know your deck building style, so you probably don't have many of them in there, right? Like. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go. Uh, where do you go? Airbellum dog. Yep. I'll use the dog effect. Bump it by two. God, Third we get eight. to make it eight here. Here you go for it. Uh, the only option I have here is Starter's Dragon. Not a bad. Hey, that's that's a good one. That's okay, a go damn good one. Just gonna attack Take like Audrey. And I will go main two. I will set a card and. This call the haunt is just sticking around, right? It's not attached to anything. Yeah, it's just, just chilling. chilling. Yep. That's my turn. Go ahead. Okay, we'll draw. Uh, stand by, I'll get yep. the frog. And Ronin's one, I will big because it enables us to make rank go twos. Go battle phase, I'll clear the phase down. It is Ronin. Okay. Um, two, I will set one and I'll pass it to you. Sure, draw. Kind of running good. away with it. <laughs> that's fantastic. Yeah, super that's low. <laughs> Oh, okay, those are all right. Uh, those, uh, yeah, I was going to say, no monarch, unfortunately. Probably take Mystical Space Typhoon here. Um... I'll grab the swap. Sure. If you have two, or like another so Ronin in deck, go back in. I'll normal them. Yep. Try for the effect. Just get yep. another froggy boy out of here. Uh, we'll declare. We'll yep. bounce him back. Yep. And I'll just pass. Okay, I'll draw. Stand by me. Yep. I'm going to flip the witch. Sure. Oh. I'm going to just get battle phase, and I'm going to try to put 25 into here with the Stardust. It's fine. Uh, Gotta I'll get go him on a clock. Two. I'll set one, and I'll pass. Go ahead. Okay. Stand by. I'll get my frog. That's a great draw, but actually, unfortunately, eight. kind of rough into this board, right? Because... The Stardust always contests the mandatory Zayborg. I'm gonna go a uh, normal swap effect. Sure. Let's get rid of. So you got left in here. I got a dupe. Get him out of here. I'm gonna go Ronin token effect. Sure. Get rid of this. No, let's overlay. Oh, let's make a gotcha, 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 gotcha. But that doesn't that doesn't work. We just negate the Zayborg. Gotcha, gotcha, we have to have something that. We'll, we'll wall up a bit. We'll throw it back. That's fine. I'll uh, uh, draw for turn here. Stand by me. Yep. Progression series debut. We've not had this guy before. We have not had the Gentetsu on the field here yet. What is everything up to here? He's himself. He's also gaining. So he's yeah, to, everything's uh, pumped by 400. It's just a 200 small. per material. So my frog is sure. 500 and he's 22. All right. Well, which put a little bit of work in there. Unfortunately, got to shift her to defense. Um, I'll go into battle phase. We'll just clear the Gentetsu with the Stardust. Sure, I'll be catch. Yes, he does get to live. <laughs> kind of. Oh. Cool. Um, I'm just going to pass my turn. Go ahead. Sure, I'll draw. Uh, oh, we win. Stand by. I'm gonna econ sack Treeborn. Take your Stardust. All right, I can't let you take. The Dust Dragon, I just can't. I'm going to uh, chain MST. I'm going to target. Gage is so good at Yu-Gi-Oh. The Call of the Haunted. You probably oh, you're going to Stardust your own MST yep. to save yourself? Yep. Okay. Activate. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. I don't have a response. That's a, that's a neat little trick. Okay. Uh, still in standby. I'll bring Treeborn back. Yep, that's fine. Main one, sack Treeborn for Zaborg, Pop Witch. Mmm. Mmm. I can see why I needed the Stardust to stay around. <laughs> uh, um, uh, yeah, let me see if I have any targets with Witcher that would save me. Do we have a I don't. fader? Right, let's go to game two. Okay. Damn, that's game unfortunate. Was that, was game one. that was a good game one. Was... He he played that well, and uh, there was just no way Alex was ever losing that game, but he tried really hard to. Yeah, you got to see the cat back in action, but maybe not at the full power yet. I'm telling the you. The Solemn mattered. Oh, for sure. Right, so if I can pull off this first turn combo. 
little hint I want to okay. do, you will not win this game. I, I'm just promising. Uh, that's the only reason you'd want to go first, yeah, I imagine. Yeah. So, so I'm going to go first again. We're going to hope I can pull off the absolute insane combo that I have in mind. Good luck. Best of luck. Let's see what you got. Tell me this isn't going to come down to sub sub. Oh, come on. <laughs> I have so much for that. I, was, I knew you would like windmill yeah, slam it's like it. A one card. Just normal like, I need the one Sangan. Card. Next I'm turn we sub it and we win. Sure, that's fine. Uh, I'll go standby main. I will just do a humble set and Seems pass. Go pretty ahead. standard for. Why would they not re-record this episode? Main. I will go normal summon wind up dog. Sure. A wind up dog effect to give it up to eighteen hundred attack. Yep. Dupe frog. It's not big enough for my two K <laughs> defense. I think it's too fucking big. I will take two <laughs> and I will humbly set a card in. I mean, we lose, sure. right? Sounds good. I'll draw. Uh, let's go main phase. Normal one. sand game. All right. Yeah. Uh, we can start doing some stuff. Start doing some stuff. I mean, this seems too good not to do. I'm in a normal sand game. Yeah. yeah. I, well, I, hold on. Let me think here. I see where you think it would be like unbelievable, and <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna put a stop to it. I'm like terrified. I'm gonna. I'm gonna <laughs> chaos trapple. <laughs> chaos trapple. This. Wow, that's insane. Banish the second okay, zero. Right. Get it out of there. Yeah, zero. I'm getting it out. I'm getting it out. I'm getting it I out. Normal seven two. That's that. Okay, that 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 feels pretty good. I'm, I'm hoping that's not yeah, your turn. That's that's pretty strong. Yeah, I'll pass. pass. Like you can't kill my my toad, so I'm chill. Stand my main. Let's see here. Would you like to wind him up? Yeah, again? I'm thinking about it. I might. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to normal summon Airbellum. Yeah, make a six, or I can make an aim. Alex, all my sixes fucking suck. <laughs> I don't want to make any sixes. I'm gonna make an eight. We're gonna wind up dog, and let's go for eight. Okay, so that's cheating. Okay. That's um that's actually not legal, but okay. I can't even do that effect. Man, I got a double read wind up dog. What has there ever been a card with this Wait, this this man read it? Clause? Read this with me, Alex. This effect can only be used once while this is face up on the field. What? <laughs> what was that, that about your been wound. Was what? When did that happen? When did that ever read that before? Oh my god, I guess I'm making a six. No choice. Uh <laughs> Terry Barkion against the deck notorious for back row, right? Let's go, yeah, baby. that works. That works. Battle phase. No, eating the sub <laughs> here is crazy. Yeah, I'll take it, sure. Yeah, I will um set one card. <laughs> the park go ahead, your turn. <laughs> That's incredible. That's amazing. All right. I'll go draw standby main. I'm chilling. I don't really have to do anything. I'm going to go normal swap frog effect. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'll dump Treeborn. Uh, activate swap frog to bounce back. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. I'm chilling. Go ahead. Okay. Draw. Standby main. Okay. I am going to normal summon giant rat. Sure. I'm going to go battle phase. 14. Yep. 14 is fine. 25. Sure about that? I'm positive about it. <laughs> yeah, 25 is fine. He knows. Uh, I'll go main phase two. Yep. Pass. I'll draw. Standby try for this the frog. This is such a good uh, dark hole. Yeah. All right. He's here. Main one good? Main one's good, yep. Okay. Uh, actually, I mean, you don't still even really need to dark hole. Okay, he's got a little something something. Oh, I have something. Yeah, I'm going to econ, econ take your Barkeon. Take the rat right. here? Yeah. You can have it. I guess right. it doesn't matter. Bring it back. Yep. Right. Oh, now, Barkeon's way let's funnier. Let's just sack it off for Kaya's. Try to go for the rat. That's like best case scenario. I don't, I'm not happy about that. I don't have any response. Yep. Sure. Uh, I'll try for 24. Yep, I'm going to take it. Cool. Uh, second main. I'm chilling. Draw. I am just going to set. I'm going to pass. Go ahead. I'll draw. Agony, uh, dude. Agony. Field. What do you got? Uh, I've seen a bunch of crap out of you. I know you play Recruiters. I know you play, like, Witch. I know you play fucking Wind Up Dog. I know you play that weird level one thing I saw the first game. Beautiful, right? Yep, yep, you're picking up. I'm picking up. I'm picking up. Let's go Zaborg. Let's try to get if it's a Recruiter. It's not a Recruiter, but that works. Okay, that's pretty good. Tried for 48. Um, I am going to under first attack, Call the Haunted, and I'm going to target Barkin. Oh, MST the Call the Haunted. Alex. Oh my god, bro, there's no way I just lost the game. I can't believe it, man. That is downright depressing. Wow, that's, wow, that's, that's, that's like the worst <laughs> episode of Prague I've ever seen. Oh, wow. Man. Two consecutive oh. games decided by a card that's been Hall of Fame. Okay, so you didn't get to see the I'm max crazy. power of my I rescue cat deck. I'm Jesus Christ. Christ. Do you want to show me what you were cooking? Yeah. That deck was so good. That deck was crazy, but, you know, substitute reads win the game. Wow, that's that's agony. Simo even managed to stuff BLS into the side deck. Gage, maybe the issue is your deck does nothing if you don't draw the one of turn one. Just shut the fuck up. Just super wrong. Wow. Watching this, seeing the comments on Substitute being Hall of Famed and wondering if it mattered, and it immediately does the moment it enters Simo's hand. Wow. Wait, what the fuck? And I wish I was dead deck relying on one card falling apart 99% of the time. We need to ban him from helping Gage. Last year was a community push. Now it's just I wish I was dead making shittier complicated combo decks for an average player. I'm sorry. Shut the fuck up. Come on, like... Gage's deck is sick. This is a neat concept... It had to contest a card that has been banned. Like, if let's pretend, for instance, that Gage had the Solemn that entire match. 
Do you think that maybe could have insulated the combo when we got to it? Oh my god. Substitute was Hall of Famed. Simo Achet. I propose one game loss. So Gage lost 2-1. No? That's not how it works. I don't get to show up with Magical Scientist and clean sweep my opponent. They go, that's a game loss, so you win 2-1. Oh my god. Why did they upload this? It's just like... Wow. That something in like turn yep. one if I said. So guys, that. Ugh. I don't know if Gage does this. I made us re-record an episode or two. There's um. The Inferno Reckless Summon episode. I was like, sorry, we have to redo this. Like we we just used this card wrong. I'm calling Gage. Is he in chat? I saw someone tag him. At Obama. Oh, he just like did not answer. He hung the fuck up. Oh, he may he may he may not be uh, interested in this one. He doesn't want to talk about it. Man, I just feel so bad for him. This deck is fucking kicks ass. And it oh, lost to what? I'm forced to solemn judgment the card that we banned. Oh, he's out right now. What a powerful card. Hope it's not on a certain ban list or something. Not a prog meme, but did you ever consider a bootleg episode for Broke Boy? Oh, that's not a bad idea. Ugh. Yeah. Me, you, and Frog Monarch. <laughs> Substitute, Hall of Fame, not to be used. Oh, they got this all screwed up. Hall of Famed, not to be used. Want to see me play Frog Narc? Want to see me do it again? I'm going to say again, a Substitute, because this is still legal. What? Has there ever been a card with this clause? Read this with me, Alex. This effect can only be used once while this is face up on the field. I was going to say Baron. <laughs> Uh, one Mobius, one Ronin Tone, a Sanga, and a Substitute. Sure. <laughs> I don't get this one. Joseph Rothschild using electromagnetic frequencies to make my dick harden at the sight of Clayman porn. That's true. Couldn't come up with a joke. Have a Doug meme instead. He will never be ballin'. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think the Amazon's call sounds like? Probably something like Derpiest of Derps, thank you for the three. Ah! We're doing new cards, there's some wild stuff. If we have time. Uh, Megunami, thank you for the five. Remember that time in season one where Simo made Gage re record an episode because Simo tributes some in Vanity's Fiend using Eater of Millions? Fun times. I guess. This will be progression series in 2011. <laughs> this image is so good. I think about this image constantly. <laughs> Froge. Speaking of it never ends, it never ends, it never ends. I am like, I can't wait for this week's meme review. I will look at the Master Duel Meta meme review page like a couple of days in advance. And if it's good, I'll be like, oh, I gotta make it. This week, <laughs> I think Peeps, like, legitimately, oh, Peeps is in chat. Peeps, legitimately, if you have like a, a heart condition, like, maybe take like a fucking Trazodone before you watch this one. There is, it is. <laughs> It is maybe the worst meme review I have ever seen. And that's saying something. <clears throat> Froge. <laughs> Foxy Tune. <laughs> sure. Awful. Just terrible. <laughs> this is why the dog is happy. 
epic rap battles of history. You drag on my hold till my vision go dark. Awful. Uh, hungry. Uh. <laughs> Monday prog memes versus Tuesday master duel memes. Or versus Tuesday meme review memes. That's true. That is actually true. I will say, you know, I appreciate the prog memes. The meme review memers are out of their fucking mind. Like... <laughs> Stay away from the voodoo. That's what I got to say. Despian tragedy, lesbian tragedy. Great to see you at Nationals. Uh, thanks for signing my mat. I love Yu-Gi-Oh! and sucking dick, MBT. I do not remember signing that one. Chaos Sork, who needs him? True. Not a prog meme, but true. Yup. <laughs> Someone call the guards, the warden, the police. Uh. The other thing I don't get, and like, <laughs> this one is a little meme. I don't understand the Farfa meme reviews. Sometimes Farfa will do a meme review and he'll be like, these are mostly funny. And I'm like, you got to like, you got to raise your standards, dog. He's like, oh, that's a good one. It's like, dude, these are bad. They that's the problem. That I never should have introduced Danny into the Yugi tubing sphere. He hit the fucking Twitch ecosystem like crack, right? These people were like like before Danny came along, I was the only competent hater here. But now we got Danny, we got peeps. Oh my god. Isn't that why Danny started? Because Farfas was so bad. Ugh. The um the one where Farfa was posting his like 2016 memes, I Peeps I taught Peeps was like I'm gonna do a meme review on these and Farfa was like oh that'll be funny, Peeps didn't do that meme review because it was going to be too meme, it's gonna be too mean to Farfa, he was like. No, I can't. It's just, I can't do it to someone else in the community. 